my father passed away when I was eight years old and that was really hard and um incarceration of a family member. I went through six years of abuse, ages zero through six. I grew up with a father that did drugs like meth, weed, alcohol, and uh, he went to prison for it when I was 11 years old. and. Uh, when I was a little kid, I thought drugs were good. And um, I started doing them when I was in the third grade. I'm a sophomore now, I'm trying to get off of them. And it's hard. Physical neglect, you know? I typically would like search the cupboards and search the fridge and whatever, and like scrounge around for anything that I could eat. And typically there wasn't anything. So um, I didn't get to eat a lot. And then um, I got neglected pretty much in every other way. Um, my resilience card is hope. I developed self-esteem by realizing that I'm better than my past, that I've moved on from my past and that I'm not what my past is and that I'm never gonna let my past get to me again. Having clear expectations and rules, that's given me structure. It's, it's given me the knowledge of uh, right and wrong because there are some things that like, I, I had a feeling were right and wrong but I was never really taught about it. Learning responsibility helps me because uh, one of my responsibilities here is working with horses and uh, I get to go out and trim horses feet and ride horses, brush them and keep my mind on that instead of things like drugs and uh, just things that aren't good and things that benefit me and are good for me. Also learning responsibility, it helps me take action for my school and you now I'm going to catch up. And, Graduate. Being able to witness success is, uh, I feel like it's a beautiful thing for a person. It just shows that you, you work hard, that your work ethic that got you to where you wanted to be. Um, it kind of shows a lot of potential that you have that certain thing that you want to be successful at. I model appropriate behavior for myself and then for my future family, hopefully. Model it for myself more right now because I'm trying to break a cycle for abuse. I knew how to drop in two of these guys that are not a drop in on the skate park so uh, I taught them how they fell on their butts a little bit and uh, hit their heads like me but um, I taught them how to do it they did it succeeded it and uh, yeah it was fun helping them out helping me out made me feel good for myself made me happy to look felt like a teacher <laughs> where I thought I couldn't count on anyone after that to take care of me, so I thought that I had to do it all myself. And then slowly reaching out and being able to um, kind of get help from other people, and then to trust other people, you know, to let them in, to help you out. And, yeah, I realized that I could do that. And uh, then, you know, in turn, I was able to trust them enough to talk to them about the things that happened, and then, you know, I was able to work through a lot of those of those problems. Um, so that was a big one. It's a rough life. It's not something you want to do. I got kicked out of school. I went to jail. Now I'm in Jubilee. And uh, it helps. You got some friends here helping me, helping them. So yeah. Um, you got to fail in order to succeed. So uh, there'll be a lot of obstacles in life that you have to climb over. Um, you fall and you just have to get back up pretty much and eventually if you just keep going down that path of being able to stand up for you know what you want to be successful at eventually success will find you so <laughs> <laughs> sorry